Let's see. I just had a uh, decent trade on ENVX. I mean, it's kind of wonky because it doesn't really fill my trades. I hate when they just stall here like this and then they, boom, they pop 20 cents and stick. You see how it's doing? It was doing that in 20, 30, 40 cent in intervals, so it's kind of scary. I'm scared to mess with it now. I feel like it might want to bounce back up, but it should spring on down to 50. But uh, close to a thousand bucks. So I, I did one here and didn't go anywhere. And as usual, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not letting this thing come back on me. Boom, look at the drop I missed. God. If I could only learn to stay in trades, but it's not really my style because it never works out for me. If I had stayed in this trade, it would have ran back up to here. That's my thinking. And if I would have stayed in, it probably would have done that. Now, it sounds stupid to say that. I have not, the market doesn't even know I'm here, but that's just the way it goes. So when I get a decent profit, I take it off. At a reasonable level, I shorted it around 50 or as close as I could get. It's actually around 40. It came down close to the whole number. They never drop all the way to the whole number. They drop to around 15 to 8 cents. Somewhere 8, 8, 9, 10 to 15 cents over the whole number. They stagnate and they blast back up. Who knows how far? Usually up into the 30s, 40s. And then that's it. Because you see how it flattened out here? I didn't take this one either because it was flat. I figured it would bounce. Because see, you see how it dropped here? It flattened out. I haven't, I haven't yet to be able to figure out when they're going to dump on through. I don't think there is a way. I think you just got to stay in the trade. So you just short the trade as you normally would somewhere up in here when the lines cross. And this is your buffer zone. So you short the trade here at 2010, it comes down to the whole number, it busts through the whole number. I expect it to pop back over the whole number, or at least to the whole number, two or three cents over, and then drop back and make a decision if it's going to go. And a lot of times they just don't. They just fade on down, and I, and I never have a chance to read it in. This is why I'm not trading it here. Now, it can go either way. I'm going to shoot on down to 50 or 25, or shoot on up to 21. That's when I don't want it. I want it on a steep, something like this, where it just pinged off perfectly on the 20. This is like a textbook trade. Big, huge dump. Comes, works its way back up, pings off the 20 perfectly, and you got a level here, and starts to drop. Might jump in, and I saw it on another chart by the time I got it loaded. I jumped in. I would have loved to have been over here. I waited it out for a few minutes. It was iffy. I didn't know if it was going to blow up to here or whatever. Boom. Dumps. That's textbook short. And you can see the stair step. 